despite the temporary doldrums of a few raindrops that weren't on the schedule and are technically not allowed in the state of Florida, nothing seems to be dampening the enthusiasm of people who are here to enjoy the best in sport aviation. In the LSA community, no matter what it is, uh, whether it's offerings from Cessna or Cirrus or other more conventional offerings from Legend and Cup Crafters, as well as avionics from uh, Garmin and Trio and Dynon and so many more, our insurance, you name it, they've got it here. We're flying, we're exhibiting, we're talking, we're learning, we're training. It's really an amazing event where, for a change, it's LSA and nothing but LSA. No distractions, no air show, nothing but the complete unvarnished LSA. It's an amazing event. It's coming into its own in its fourth year. It's obvious that there are people here to learn about the best in light sport aircraft. if you would we're in the second day of the expo uh, numbers are looking up more people more airplanes and uh, unfortunately a few more raindrops but that'll pass it's Florida it can't last sure. talk a little bit about how Expo 2008 is looking well Expo 2008 is up substantially in numbers of exhibitors from last year both in terms of the total numbers as well as some exciting things that are happening new designs being developed new introduction of new aircraft flight design, gobosh, all those things, uh, and Cirrus. We also, of course, have Cessna here uh, as our major sponsor, and we're thrilled by that. Number of people, uh, yesterday looked about as good as the first day last year, but yesterday it rained much of the day, and a year ago it was nice. Mm -hmm. We've filled the parking lot this morning. We're starting to do overflow parking operations, so we're happy about that. In the rain, not bad. In the rain, not bad. We did some flying early this morning, I haven't seen a light sport up for an hour or so, but we did do some earlier. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. As a function of what you see here at Expo, what can you say about the health of LSA, the market, the community, and the future? Well, LSA is the growing thing in general aviation. There's no question about it. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of new designs, People are out here doing what they always love to do, which is build and fly airplanes. But LSA is a new niche that really is responding to the market. I think the market was much more than anyone realized it, was be, it would be when they started the idea of LSA. And not only in terms of the styles and the uh, engineering and so on that goes into the aircraft, just simply the number of people who are interested in buying these things and operating them. What kind of person is coming to the Expo? Uh, serious aircraft buyers for our Expo. We don't have very many kids here. Uh, I wish we had more young people here, but we do have an awful lot of young aviators who want to get into flying. We also have the old crowd who want to fly on their driver's license medicals. Right. So we have both, both segments. Mm -hmm. I uh, talked to a guy yesterday who had just gotten rid of a diamond. Mm -hmm. He's going to buy an LSA and take it home. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. 
The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. The fact is that it's a vibrant market. Mm -hmm. More airplanes this year than before, both here and in, of course, the community. Um, you know, what more can I say? What Are you seeing any trends as far as this year versus uh, previous years? Any changes overall in the market? Who's here, what's here, or for that matter, what's being sold? Well, I think what we're seeing this year is the introduction of a number of new aircraft, more than we saw, that we saw mm -hmm. last year. Um, and, uh, you know, the whole thing is just bubbling right along. All of the associated equipment, not just airplanes, but Garmin-type uh, true track exhibitors like that who are showing up to build your panel for you mm -hmm. is new and interesting. And uh, we've gone from a little over 50 to almost 80 inside exhibitors. Uh, of course, we have exhibitors here who are selling air park property and mm -hmm. those kinds of things too, and they're important to this industry. Absolutely. You can come here today, you can identify the light sports you want to buy, you can walk over to the tent and get financing, you can go two booths to the side and get training, and you can move ahead down the way and schedule your insurance, mm -hmm. and you can fly your airplane home when you leave here. That, that's one-stop shopping, isn't it? It sure is. That's one of the things that when we talked to the Light Aircraft Manufacturing Association three or four years ago, and to Tom Poveresi and EAA when he was advising us about setting this thing up, that was one of the things he said really had to be developed, and that was the entire infrastructure package to support LSA. And he's worked very hard at that. EAA's worked hard at it. And I think the exhibitors at our event reflect that.